2010 was nothing short of amazing for gamers. Aside from the usual summer gaming lull, we had plenty of fresh and exciting games this year to keep us more than occupied, not to mention a series of stellar sequels. But now this wonderful year has finally drawn to a close, and we feel it is the appropriate time to salute our yearly superlatives. Certainly other sites have already released their Game of the Year awards, but we here at Elder Geek are different. We are your premier independent media center for video games, and this is our award show. So grab a drink, kick back, and let the haters hate. This is the ElderGeek.com 2010 Game of the Year Awards. The first game category on the pedestal this year is also the industry's most diverse, the action-adventure genre. From demon hunters with whips, to noir detectives with inhalers, to secret agents on the run from their own government, 2010 saw its share of just about everything. The nominees for Best Action Adventure Game are... Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Castlevania Lords of Shadow. God of War 3. Heavy Rain. Red Dead Redemption. Splinter Cell Conviction. And the winner is Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption deserves every compliment it receives, ever. And it's all thanks to the unmatched skill on display in every second of the gameplay. The Wild West Opus delivered an exciting and sometimes heart-rending story. Shooting enemies from your galloping horse, rescuing victims from the gallows, and fighting bears with nothing but a knife are just a small taste of the insane activities encountered throughout the game's plot arc and its exploratory interludes. It rarely gets better than this. Third person? First person? Apocalyptic future? Lush jungles of the past? It doesn't matter. Have gun, we'll shoot. Here are the nominations for Best Shooter. The nominees for Best Shooter are... Battlefield Bad Company 2 Call of Duty Black Ops GoldenEye 007 Halo Reach And the winner is Battlefield Bad Company 2 We couldn't say no to Battlefield this year the multiplayer is so good we'll gladly enlist for another year of play. Huge maps, squad gameplay, destructible environments, and now it's home to the Vietnam expansion which changes the entire multiplayer routine up to this point on its head. If we gave it an award for best sound, the FBC2 would have taken that home as well. This year we were fortunate enough to see a wide variety of platforming games across every console and the PC. Be they indie gems or old standbys, 2010 was one of the best years for the category in recent memory. The nominees for Best Platformer are... Donkey Kong Country Returns. Kirby's Epic Yarn. Limbo. Super Mario Galaxy 2. Super Meat Boy. And the winner is Super Meat Boy! Team Meat beat out the folks at Nintendo for the title, mainly because when we looked at how much we got for the budget price, the amount of love for the industry that went into every cutscene, and the fact that we're still playing it, there was no contest. With pristine controls, wonderful design, excellent music, and a difficulty scale ranging from easy to nearly impossible, Super Meat Boy raised independent development to a new standard. This isn't just the greatest platformer of the year, it's one of the best of all time. Whether you haven't played a game in the genre for 12 years, or haven't stopped playing for longer, 2010 was a banner year for the strategy player. But after the Titans have battled it out, only one of the commanding generals can claim victory. The nominees for best strategy game are... Civilization V. Lionheart King's Crusade. Starcraft II. Napoleon Total War Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising Toy Soldiers
and the winner is Civilization V. StarCraft II may have delivered in every possible way, but the fact that it is only one-third of the intended game never stopped dirking us at the Elder Geek office. Civilization V's initial simplicity and the unfathomably deep campaign possibilities reminded us of that moment when we first discovered the joys of redirecting troop movements and clashing statistics. Everything that is great about the series has been finally honed into the best series experience to date. 2010's variety of RPGs was highly contrasted between staggering successes and crushing disappointments. But for gamers who pine for a more epic storyline, there can be only one RPG crowned the new king of the genre. The nominees for the best role-playing game are... Dragon Quest IX – Sentinels of the Starry Skies Fable 3 Fallout New Vegas Final Fantasy XIII Mass Effect 2 And the winner is Mass Effect 2! Mass Effect 2 was everything that a sequel should be. We weren't the happiest when we first heard of the inventory simplifications and armor customization reductions, but after just an hour of playtime, it became obvious that every single change made went into paving an intense narrative experience. That and intergalactic productions of Gilbert and Sullivan is something worth waiting for. With Mass Effect 3 looming on the horizon, BioWare will probably be fighting for this same award next year, but up against a stiffer competition. One of the fastest growing genres in video games is also the most difficult to define. Steam, Gamersgate, console-based services, and cloud-based gaming alternatives could quickly expand the notion of a downloadable title to every game released. But for the time being, there is something undeniably unique about download-only games. They're quick, inexpensive, and they're getting better with every year that goes by. The nominees for Best Downloadable Game are... Amnesia The Dark Descent Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light Limbo The Misadventures of P.B. Winterbottom Super Meat Boy Toy Soldiers And the winner is Amnesia The Dark Descent It may look like a short game on paper, but most people don't factor in the regular breaks needed to restart your heart. Single-handedly revitalizing the waffling survival horror genre by abandoning us in a decaying castle, Amnesia left us with nightmares for weeks. It's the most terrifying game since Silent Hill 2, the most atmospheric since Bioshock, and the most visceral game since Dead Space. And it's the best downloadable title of 2010. The PC had an amazing year in 2010, with multi-platform games being elevated to a new level with added keyboard support, and exclusives proving once again the superiority of these ever-upgradable boxes. We had been expecting a few of these hits for a while, but there were some games whose brilliance even surprised us, leading the PC to have one of its most flexible years of the decade. The nominees for PC Game of the Year are... Amnesia The Dark Descent Civilization V Fallout New Vegas Mass Effect 2 Mount and Blade Warband Starcraft 2 And the winner is Amnesia The Dark Descent We are utterly convinced that the only reason other sites haven't latched onto this masterpiece is that they didn't know it existed, which says a lot for their research. Created by a small team on a shoestring budget, and facing off against a competition made mostly of sequels, Amnesia is a wonderfully original title that no self-respecting PC gamer should have missed this year. Sporting a new look and a new peripheral, the Xbox 360 continued to support a stellar game library made of both console exclusives and AAA multi-platform titles. The renaissance of Xbox Live Arcade later in the year helped cement the console's place among the best system experiences possible. The nominees for Xbox 360 Game of the Year are... Alan Wake Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Fallout New Vegas 
Halo Reach. Mass Effect 2. Red Dead Redemption. And the winner is Mass Effect 2. There was just something to saving the galaxy on a D-pad this year that made it one of the top experiences you could get in the last 12 months. Presenting gamers a more action-packed and multifaceted experience than the original, or most RPGs ever. If you own an Xbox 360 and you don't know what we're talking about, then according to sales and gameplay statistics, you don't exist. 2010 marked the PlayStation 3's fourth birthday. The precocious little black box evolved its hardware yet again to mark new ad campaigns and system redesigns. With the barrier of multi-platform inequality that existed for its first two years firmly destroyed, and even the most stalwart opposition defending its hardware specs at E3, there was no possible way for the system's catalog to disappoint. The nominees for PlayStation 3 Game of the Year are... Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Battlefield Bad Company 2 Heavy Rain God of War 3 Fallout New Vegas Red Dead Redemption And the winner is Heavy Rain Yeah, we were surprised too. But when we got all philosophical on ourselves and thought of what a PlayStation game should be, Heavy Rain fit every possible description. It was the title that the video game industry needed in 2010. Original, if finicky controls, a highly interactive and very mature storyline, and one of the most true-to-life in-game worlds ever created. Whether a noble or a failed experiment in your mind, later generations will look to Heavy Rain as the start of something special. If the worst thing you can say about a company is that it keeps reintroducing amazing games back to audiences every generation, then Nintendo must be doing something right. 2010 was the year gamers have been waiting the entire generation for. The nominees for Wii Game of the Year are... Kirby's Epic Yarn Metroid Other M Donkey Kong Country Returns Super Mario Galaxy 2 GoldenEye 007 And the winner is Donkey Kong Country Returns Donkey Kong Country Returns does exactly what its title aspires to. It brings you back to the classic difficulty of old school platformers while going for another romp in the treetops. Perfect controls, blissful soundtrack and all. We strongly recommend anyone who has become jaded with shooters and open world action titles to hunker down with this nostalgia gem and remember why you started playing video games in the first place. And now, it all comes down to this. The nominees for the game of the year are all remarkable games in their own right, and this would be a bleak and terrible time to exist without them. They are the embodiment of the best that 2010 had to offer. With such a stellar year behind us, each nominee has the possibility to grace future compilations of the best of the console generation and the best of the decade, but we're sure the winner will be a consistent contender for the best game of all time. The nominees for Game of the Year are... Amnesia The Dark Descent Civilization V Donkey Kong Country Returns Fallout New Vegas Mass Effect 2 Red Dead Redemption And the winner is... Red Dead Redemption In the tightest race of the year, one that has created debates within the Elder Geek staff, Red Dead Redemption was the game that gave us the most joy. Remarkable story set against an awe-inspiring desert backdrop allowed us to relive childhood dreams of being a cowboy taming horses, hog-tying criminals, and bringing our enemies to justice. Westerns are too few and far between in video games, and we're hoping Red Dead was the kick in the pants the era needed to get into the mainstream. Even if this was the last time we are to ride off into the sunset, it was a journey that will become the stuff of legends as years go by. And the burning blisters on my feet will call to hold me as I'm close.